All right, with the release of Pro Tools 9, more people now have access to VCA faders. And I often get asked, why would I need VCAs when I can just use aux tracks? Now, there's reasons for both types of tracks, but uh, not using VCAs for mixing is really a waste of power uh, that you have inside of Pro Tools. And here's some reasons why. So first of all, VCAs and Pro Tools, they're not really voltage-controlled amplifiers, but they do emulate how real VCAs work on an analog console. And ultimately they help you control, you know, groups of faders in your mix. Um, typically in your mix, you know, you'll, uh, you'll group together various types of tracks. In this particular mix, I've got my drums group. So here's my kick drum, all the way over to, there's a, a loop in here. So all of these are one group. My percussion tracks, they're one group. I put my bass on its own, it's its own group. Here's a couple of keyboard parts. I have guitar parts that are a group horn section and then the saxophone solo this happens to be kind of a jazzy track and the saxophone solo is its own group as well and I also typically group my effects so that's you know that's how I typically set up my session in terms of how I want to control things and this is where VCAs really come into play so let's scroll over and here's the VCAs I have in this session. And you can see there's a VCA for drums, percussion, bass, guitars. And one thing I want to point out, let me double click just to get to the name. And as you can see, I name it uh, with a small V and then the name of whatever it's controlling. Mainly so that with a lot of tracks, if I'm scrolling around or banking with the control surface, it's easy to see exactly what is a VCA track. Okay, so uh, there's my VCA tracks. And let me just hit play for a second. So I could, for instance, I could solo tracks here, solo maybe the percussion and the drums, or take them on a solo. I can mute from here. Um, and again, VCAs are, more, are for much more than volumes. Solos, mutes, I could take, for instance, all of the drum tracks and drop them into record, or maybe take all the percussion tracks and put them in input mode. So I have access, again, to multiple uh, functions that you might need to get to that certainly auxiliary tracks um, don't handle. Now I'm going to scroll, well first of all, let's do this, let's mute, I'm going to mute basically all the tracks, except for the horns, and we'll go over here, and in fact I will mute the horns, and let's go over here to the saxophone track, here's my sax, and also I created an aux, just so you can kind of get an idea of the differences, so if I were to go ahead and play this, this track, the sax, uh, we should hear like a little bit of an intro solo part. So if I were to mute the sax, see, right, if you mute it from the aux, you're still going to hear the effects returns. And that's because uh, basically this aux track and certainly this mute is after the sends. So we're still going to hear whatever effects are being sent to in that track. Sometimes that's good, but most of the time that's not what I'm looking for. And also another example would be this. If I wanted to solo uh, the track, if I hit solo, well, that's right, it gets rid of everything. I, only way I would hear that track is if I actually went in and solo safed whatever members of um, the aux group would be, and that's typically not how I I want to you know I want to mix. So I mean that's just kind of a little bit of a downfall of of aux tracks, but they do have their benefits, especially if I wanted to route uh, groups of tracks together. Maybe if I wanted to do an effect like my drums and double bust the drums, actually literally route all the outputs to a single track and. And, and process them differently. That's exactly for me what auxiliary tracks are used for. So when you use auxiliary tracks with VCA tracks, you really get a much more, you get a lot more control over your mix, bottom line. So anyway, my name is Brian Carter. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave, a, leave it in the comments field and I'll try to answer it.